So this morning we're going to look at setting up FlexFuel uh, using Ecutech RaceROM. Uh, so to get right into it, the first thing you have to do is set up a scaling map for the ethanol content analyzer. And this works very similar to the way that we set up the Wideband O2 when we were wiring in the Innovate. Uh, now obviously this is just an example. You wouldn't want to probably use a map this big. I mean, you can see this is just a two-dimensional map scaled across. Uh, you could probably get away with using a much, much smaller map to do this, but uh, for the sake of example, uh, you know, it'll work just fine. So you can see that basically uh, it's just here, 0 to 5 volt linear interpolation, and then on this axis we have RPM, although it's not really used for anything. Uh, and then these are the different values for uh, the ethanol content at a given voltage. And if we go down in here, you can see that the activation definition is that it's always active. Uh, and it's, you know, unused. Uh, the activation delay, of course, there is none. Threshold, it's nothing. Uh, the enable, we enable it in all four map modes. Uh, there's no integral. Uh, the output definition is just a calculation. Uh, we're only going to use it as an input to the other maps, so we don't have to worry about, uh, you know, changing any of the uh, values inside of the uh, ECU itself. Uh, the X input definition is unused, and the Y input is CPC pressure sensor voltage, pin C20 on the ECU, very similar to, uh, like I said, the way we did with the LC1. Now, rumor has it that we'll be able to do this with the rear O2 sensor pretty soon, uh, which would be great, because then I can do it on my car <laughs> without having to uh, get rid of my wideband, which would kind of suck otherwise. So, uh, If we move on, you can see uh, that with custom map E, uh, what we have here is a scaling of 0 to 100 percent ethanol content and this is coolant temperature uh, and from here you can see everything up to, to E10 is a multiplier of 1 all the way up to 85 which is roughly 1.29 and then you know I just scaled it out through to 100 even though you don't really have to but this is a full a fuel volume a quantity multiplier so if you go in here, you can see that again, the activation definition is that it's always active. There's no delay, no threshold. It's enabled in, uh, well right now it's in debug mode because we haven't turned it on yet, but it would typically be enabled in all four map modes. Uh, there's no integral. The output definition is total fuel quantity multiplying the channel value by map output. Uh, the X input definition is custom map D result, which is your ethanol content, and the Y is coolant temp. So that's pretty simple. And one thing you might notice though is as you start to tune it, uh, if you notice that you know at a given uh, ethanol content on your on your log, your fueling error is off in a global manner, i.e., that your uh, fueling error chart is a straight line, you know, above or below zero. You can get in here and tweak these values to pull it back in line. But as a general rule of thumb, I just usually interpolate one to eighty to eighty-seven, you know. Or from 10 to 87, uh, 1 to 1 1.3, and then I just scale it out a little bit more past that, and that'll get you really close. And then you can just tweak it from there. Now, custom map F, in this case, is going to be your timing comp, and uh, it's pretty conservative. Uh, basically, it's just, a, again, coolant temp and the ethanol content. And then here you see that at E10 we add nothing, all the way up to E10 we add nothing. And then it just interpolates over to E85. We had seven degrees across the board. And again, this is just a very general, basic setup. I mean, you'd really get in here and want to tune it and actually have different, you know, uh, you know different amounts of timing that you're adding in different places. You're on the dyno finding MBT or something like that. And you might also consider instead of using coolant temp here, you might use RPM. Uh, and there's lots of different ways you can do it. You can use any value you want for this other axis to to adjust the timing against, but just as a general demonstration of how this works, uh, you can see it's a very simple timing compensation. Uh, and so if you go in again, the activation definition is that it's always active, there's no delay, no threshold. Uh, it should be enabled in whatever map modes you want it enabled in. There's no integral. Uh, the output definition is ignition base timing, and then you add map output to channel value. Uh, it's very important that you don't accidentally click multiply. That would be bad. Uh, the X input, again, is custom map D result, or your ECA scaler. The Y input is coolant temp, but like I said, you can make that engine RPM or load or whatever else you decide you want to use. 
So the next thing you're going to want to set up is a uh, ethanol compensation for your AFR targets. Typically if you're running E85, you're going to want to target a leaner gas equivalent AFR than what you, than what you would when you're running pump gas. Uh, and this is just very general. Uh, it's saying that at E10 we're going to you know, have our pump gas target and at E85 we're going to target one AFR point leaner. So if we're you know, running 10.8 to 1 on pump gas, we'll run 11.8 to 1 on E85. And of course this is something you're going to tune to figure out you know, where you make the best power and whatnot. But uh, just as a general setup, you can see we have the x-axis is custom map D result, which is our ethanol content. On our y-axis, in this case, I use manifold absolute pressure. Uh, and then, of course, it, it'll be enabled in all four map modes. There's no sort of activation, no integrals. Uh, the output definition is target AFR, uh, add map output to channel value. The x input is custom map D result, and the y input is map. So that's really about it. Uh, the only other thing you might want to do is if you're using electronic boost control uh, with RACEROM, you might want to set up some uh, boost target comps against the ethanol content analyzer. Uh, but realistically, you just do that very similar uh, to the way that you do the AFR targets or, or any of the other ones that we've already shown. So maybe we'll cover that some other time when we do boost control. But uh, that's really about it. So if you have any questions, feel free to ping me and uh, have fun with it.